Hello, and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. We are back to Cave. Yes, we're the Cave. We have water shoes. I guess we can solve them very easily by just doing. going inventory insanity. Uh, nope. Wait, where would that be? Uh, where would the starter block be? It's in a weird spot. I think the block under has been mined, so we will get to it. Get to it. Oh, red sand, that won't be any good. And dirt. Okay, good. Done with those issues. We have other issues, such as the mobs. The mobs are certainly an issue. Uh, da -da -da. Grab the gold, grab the gold. Whoop! Enderman, I can't look at them. Have a look at them. I think we could come back here one day, but that is definitely not our main priority right now. At this very moment, our main priority is to leave. And somehow this is not collected, although I thought it was. Yeah, I've got gold there, I thought, because, well, it wouldn't be collected. There are some other gold things. Here, gold. Gold! I know it's useless, but it, it is kind of actually good because of piglins, and you can barter for that with, uh, those pearls, which is useful, much easier than going about killing Enderman. Because that can be hard for the average speedrunner. Because when you're a speedrunner, your first goal is to chop wood down, and then you want to avoid all the little stuff in between, like this. This is all the little you know, stuff in between that doesn't need to happen. So let's uh, take this crafting table. Mm. It even fits in my inventory, that is. And look like looks like it doesn't. But I think we'll clear some space up in just a minute now. Now that crafting table is all ours. Let's uh surf dirt for now. Our staircase doesn't have to be pretty, just needs to get us out. So we're gonna build a staircase up to the top. You know, a husk attacks us. So there seems to already be some collection of blocks up there. So let's use what we already have. I guess this is a tutorial. Yeah, this can be... Yeah, I think this will be a good tutorial for you, too. That's not intended. Yep, this, uh, this is a tutorial video. How to get out of a pit. And I purposely got myself into one. And I don't need to do that, because I am in bedrock. Okay, uh, so... I guess the first tip is to use what you already have. Use blocks that already exist. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to put up torches, obviously. Especially if you're doing this at night. And gold, gold, gold. Don't forget to take the gold and the iron and the coal and whatever you see. Whatever you see, take. Don't worry about your inventory. Actually, you should worry about your inventory. Because I could be much better organized. I dropped off my junk. If I just dropped off my junk at my house, like the main main base, like the big like the big base, this is convenient. There already seems to be some sort of a staircase cut out. This is going to be good. Take your raw iron. Take your iron. Not doesn't have to be raw. Well, let's take a block no one likes. And sight. It's true, no one likes this block. Apparently, that was... Mm. 
and I'm out of it. So we'll take uh, this terracotta here. Say what now? What was that green bar doing there? That's a strange glitch. A skeleton is looking in. Hello there. I'm trying to kill you. That was expected. Yeah, I need one more support block on that side. So what? Yeah, we have another block. Ugh. Why now? Why now? Okay, well, let's pick them off. Right, well, and that happens when problems occur again. We'll come back for them. Now, we might want to... Do, uh, yeah, I don't think we have enough blocks to make a block elevator here. Although that is a good strategy. How come we didn't get to claim that arrow? It appears that you cannot take skeleton arrows. The ones that are shot by a skeleton. You can take ones when they're dead, but you cannot take ones when they are shot by a skeleton. You have to do a jump. Never a good idea, but we're taking risks here today. In an ideal situation, if you didn't have all these this handy cobblestone, you would uh, make mine. You'd mine yourself tunnel, like here. Do a dying skeleton up there. That's, that's good. Do small jumps that are okay to do, obviously. This whole escaping process is taking much longer than I thought. So once I have an escaping process, I might want to have a re-entry process too. Okay. Getting closer to the top. Oh, let's, let's we can use this terracotta. That is a jump we cannot make. Is that is a walk we can do? Let's use this to our advantage. Hooray, we're on top again. And there, if I started to get back to land from falling into a pit, so my advice in the end is just to never fall in pits. Wow, but we did it. So make sure to like and subscribe.